الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم. I know it's after Fajr and I know everyone wants to go to sleep so I'll make it very short inshallah. Um, the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم he said لا يرحم الله من لا يرحم الناس which means that Allah سبحانه وتعالى does not show mercy to the one who does not show mercy to his creation. So again, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he does not show mercy to the one who does not show mercy to the creation. So we all know that the first 10 days of Ramadan is about mercy. And we all know that uh, one of the reasons why we fast is because we are all we are all trying to attain the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If we attain the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then we get his forgiveness, then we get his love, then we get everything that, that we need in this world, inshaAllah. So, what does the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa mean by that the person who does not show mercy to people, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not show mercy to him. What do we mean by that? For example, we have responsibilities when it comes to each other, interaction that we make in the masjid. Um, when it comes to the household, uh, the brothers or sisters, they make interaction. When it comes to a, a husband and a wife, they make interaction. But also with the interaction, there has to, there, ha there is um, mercy involved. For example, if you are a teacher and you have students and your students make mistakes, how are you gonna deal with that student? Are you gonna show mercy to that student? Are you going to fail the student? If the, person, if the student makes a mistake, are you going to scold them? Are you going to yell at them? Are you going to hurt them? What are you going to do? If someone comes to the masjid right now and pees in this masjid, I'm, the reason I'm using this example is because this is exactly what happened in the time of the Prophet A person came in and just started to urinate in the masjid. But what did the Sahaba wanted to do? They wanted to basically you know, scold him and, and physically reprimand him. But what did the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam say? He said, "Let him finish, you know, let him complete whatever he was doing." So that is a mercy of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He showed mercy to the person. And so, if a person, this is a question for all of us: if a person comes to the masjid inappropriately dressed, a sister or a brother, how will we treat that person? What will we say to that person? Are we going to be merciful to them? When we go outside and we see people who are in need, we see homeless people who are begging. Or we see someone who just, you know, they need, they need our help. Are we going to be merciful to them? When we're going off to work, if we're 15 minutes early, and we're getting on the train, and we see someone that, we see, a, we see someone who, who has a, a stroller, what are, we going to do, what are we going to do? Are we going to wait and, and help that person? Are we going to show mercy to that person? What are we going to do? This is what we mean by mercy. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is merciful to us. So if we want... Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to have mercy on us, then we need to be merciful to others. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, if you remember me, I will remember you. Right? So if you remember me, I will remember you. So if you're merciful to others, then I will be merciful to you. So that is the, uh, the lesson of today, inshallah, to uh, be merciful to others so that we can receive the mercy from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, inshallah. أقول قول هذا وأستغفر الله لي ولكم فاستغفروه إنه هو الغفور الرحيم جزاكم الله خير. الله بسيم.